কামিং টু দ্য নেক্সট পয়েন্টে আমি ঠিক এই জায়গাতেই আপনাকে দ্বিতীয় প্রশ্নটা করছি বহুত স্পেসিফিক সওয়াল হে ম্যাম কংগ্রেস অর আপ যা পে ফিলহাল হ্যাঁ বেঙ্গল মে দ্য রুলিং পার্টি তৃণমূল কংগ্রেস ইস কন্টিনিউসলি সেইং ওয়ান থিং ইয়ে বিজেপি অ্যান্টি মিডল ক্লাস হে ইয়ে বিজেপি গ্যাস কা প্রাইস বড়া চুকা হ্যাঁ পেট্রোল কা প্রাইস বড়া চুকা হ্যাঁ ইয়ে সব যা পে আপ দেখি অ্যান্ড উই আর সিং অল দিস মিনস অ্যান্ড সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া পোস্ট পোস্ট বাই কংগ্রেস দ্যাট দিস ইজ ওয়াট ইউ ইউজ টু ডিজার্ভ ডিউরিং দ্য ইউপিএ রেজিম অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ ওয়াট ইউ ডিজার্ভিং is it a misinformation because this completely is it's a misinformation completely if you can explain and i repeat it it's completely a wrong information if anything i remember it was over 1200 rupees gas cylinder price under the upa now with prime minister having divided into two the poorest of the poor who get under the ujwala scheme government is now giving subsidy of about 300 to 400 rupees and because of that international price being what it is ujwala cylinder holders get discounted price and for the commercial cylinder the price is different but even with that said the commercial cylinder price is also and the ujwala also has come down from what it was before it's all right if people want it cheaper it's a different angle for which the government will have to listen to them and see what is best which we can do similarly I want to ask of you in 2021 wasn't it the prime minister who reduced the excise duty on petrol and diesel again in june of 2022 if i remember correct it was prime minister who reduced march i think march or june in 2022 it was the central government prime minister's uh, direction that the excise duty on petrol and diesel was brought down as a result the price came down now it's a different story altogether in non bjp ruled states where the state governments did not do their commensurate reduction after the center reduced the its share of the excise duty now without doing that you keep saying look at it middle class is suffering because prime minister modi's taxes are falling heavily on you that is not true at all if anything in spite of the increase in the international market we were also bringing down the excise duty only because we don't want the ordinary middle class to suffer similar was the case with farmers fertilizer prices globally went up 10 times 20 times like that so a, a bag full of fertilizer was 300 rupees even today it is 300 for the farmer we import all our fertilizers they reach the price of 3000 rupees a, a bag which is sold to the farmer at 300 not once did we raise the price for the farmer and farmers also some of them belong to the middle class now when you talk of middle class it's not just the urban you and me there are also middle class in the uh, two uh, tier 2 tier 3 cities each one has one or the other benefit being given to them affordable houses for 45 lakhs interest subvention is offered that's given by the central government similarly for businesses which are run by msme units who are also middle class people who are running their units manufacturing units there are concessional loans given to them during the covid across the board for all the emer- emer- uh, msmes we gave emergency credit liquidity guarantee scheme where the central government guaranteed you didn't have to give additional collateral But you how do you combat this misinformation uh, economics the jargons the heavy words like i'm 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 totally a student of literature but i'm going to vote i have this equal uh, power with uh, finance minister bhi vote karenge main bhi vote karunga farmer bhi vote karenge to aap ye misinformation ko kaise hatayenge बहुत कुछ किया है आपने बोला है लेकिन हाउ डू यू बाय रिपीटेडली आंसरिंग क्वेश्चंस सच एज योर्स यू सीम टू हैव आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम डू आस्क मी आई एम नॉट हिटिंग एट द प्रोवर्बियल सो कॉल्ड वी आर द मैसेंजर्स यू आर हिटिंग एट अस डोंट गेट इनटू दैट आर्ग्यू प्रॉब्लम आस्किंग यू कैन आस्क बट आई वुड वांट यू टू आस्क द सेम थिंग आल्सो टू दोस हु आर डूइंग द दुष्प्रचार विल यू आस्क द टीएमसी चीफ दैट इफ शी रिड्यूस द प्राइस हियर while all the bjp ruled states reduced when prime minister modi brought the rate down one second why is it that 
in uh, West Bengal, many of the schemes of the central governments which are directly aimed at the aspirational class, those who have just come out of poverty, who are getting into wanting to be middle class, for them there are so many schemes, why is she not allowing them? Wouldn't you want to ask her that question? Isn't the middle class, the poorer, lower middle class people of Bengal not deserving of all the schemes which Prime Minister Modi is bringing? You didn't allow that. And when you didn't allow these schemes to come, when you didn't reduce the price when uh, Modi reduced the excise duty, you go about saying that uh, it is Prime Minister Modi's taxes which are burdening the middle class. I would want you, media, to ask your own chief minister in Bengal, what was Bengal earlier and what is it now? Do you know that in Bengal, you are worried about middle class, I want to tell you. For 20 years now, continuously, two decades, the per capita income of Bengal is much lower than the national average. Is that not affecting the middle class? But once Mushidabad alone, uh, one district used to uh, garner 5% of the world GDP during pre-independent era in Bengal. Please remind that also and tell her that for two decades continuously, the per capita income of Bengal is much lower than the national average. Who is and, responsible? Okay, then that's what I'm asking. That if the national the average, Bengalis oh, the wait a minute, of wait Bengal a minute. Please wait a minute. You've asked me a question, I'll answer it. Please. So when the national average is higher than your state's average, who's responsible, pray? Directly you can answer that? One. Second, second, monthly consumption, final consumption expenditure which families do, again in Bengal, is far lower than the national average. What does that mean? An ordinary citizen spends to keep his household going. He normally spends on day to day, you know, buying of soap, oil, cooking uh, um, oil or uh, food or anything. That expenditure compared with the national average is about half in Bengal. If people have money in their hands, they will spend. There are no opportunities here. The net migration from Bengal, let me tell you this right up front. At one point in time, people go out for work. There are many who come here in search of work. Net, net. Bengal used to receive more people coming to Bengal to work. Today, since 2010, let me put it on your record. Since 2010, more than a million people have gone out of Bengal looking for opportunities elsewhere.